What is going on everyone? This is Rossi and welcome to the most expensive summer transfer team so far already. Now, there obviously may be a couple others down the line, but this is pretty, pretty extravagant to be honest. The maximum, well, the cost of all these players you're going to see is worked out to be roughly £322 million. Pounds, okay, not Euros, Euros is much more than that. For £322 million pounds worth of players, ladies and gentlemen. And that's only 11 people. But before we start the video, if you guys want to buy any coins, check out Fuckcoin Emporium. Their link will be in the description. If you use code ROSSYHD, get a 5% off as well. And if you guys hit 2,500 likes before midnight, that would be fucking awesome. And I may do something for you guys sneakily, sneakily on Twitter, on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, and that will be a surprise there. I'm not going to let you guys know what that is. Um, completely up to you if you want to like, though. It's up to you. Um, but we're going to go into the team now and... Um, there might be a few surprises in there, but it might not be, to be honest. The Stegen signed for about 12 million euros. That is the reported fee to Barcelona. Um, so I've worked out to be about 9.5 million pounds off the euro. Uh, pounds, obviously. Um, very young goalkeeper. He was at the old club he was at, which is obviously, um, there you go, Gladbach, whatever, however you're going to pronounce that. Um, for like 60, 18 years, like pretty much since he was like four years old, three years old, or five years old or something. So pretty, he was pretty emotionally left, but he's now signed for one of the biggest clubs in the world. Luke Shaw, then um, the most, well, fifth or fourth most expensive teenager in the world um, to this day on obviously football. Um, so this guy signed for about 30 million, but it could go up to 32 if depending on his appearances and success I think but I've only put them down as 30 million on the old bracket thing I worked out I will put the odd picture of these guys playing for the or signing for these teams as well so you guys can see that it's actually official and proof but that is going to be pretty good I'm a Man United fan and ever looks like he's leaving as well so he could be the only left back we got but is he ready for it? Is he ready for the challenge? I don't know. Who knows? This has got to be the most ridiculous transfer I've seen in a very very long time 40 million but could go up to 50 depending on shit apparently um, David Luiz, I've only put him down for 40 million, but um, I mean, did you see that game against Germany? Did you see the way he played? Oh, fucking hell, PSG owners are scrapping around for the receipt, I tell you that. But now, nah, seriously, though, that is um, a pretty, that's, that's a very, the most expensive centre back in the world, I believe. 40 million could go up to 50 um, for David Luiz. Obviously, Chelsea, well played, that is a, that is a banging deal. Gurai is another defender who's actually playing in the um, Champions League final tomorrow for Argentina. He signed for Zenit St. Petersburg, where Hulk and uh, Witzel are, I believe, uh, for a reported 12 million euros. So I put him down for 9.5 million pounds. Um, that is the second most expensive centre back I could find, to be honest. Mangala looks like he could be the next one, but it wasn't confirmed, so I couldn't fit him in this team. Um, if you guys had any more, let me know. But I, I rummaged through like 5, 10 sites. I don't know. I don't know. And Tabuki was the most expensive right back I could find for 10 million to Arsenal from uh, Newcastle, sorry. Um, so that's pretty good. They bought him for 5 million, sold him for 10, so they made a bit of profit and stuff, which is pretty awesome for Newcastle. They like their French players and stuff. They just signed another one today, actually, another French player. I can't remember his name, though. Um, but Arsenal need that after selling Sanya. Um, I think it's, oh, did they sell him or did he just, yeah, he got released, didn't he? And he went and signed a new contract like three times his old wage. Mad. Arsenal fans are going to be licking their lips. Sanchez signed for £32 million, pound, I believe, the other day. Uh, two days ago, I think it was. He had a pretty awesome World Cup with Chile. Chile had a good World Cup anyway, I think. I think I enjoyed watching them. They worked very, very hard. But um, that's a very good signing for Arsenal, to be honest, I think. I think players like Theo Walcott and stuff have to watch out for their position a little bit. Because Sanchez got the class, got the experience, the goals he scored for Barcelona. Just go on YouTube, watch some of the highlights of Sanchez's goals for Barcelona. Madness. Adam Lalana. Okay, another interesting one. Southampton have made a bit of money on. 25 million um, from Southampton to Liverpool. Um, I don't really know what's making the signing, to be honest. I don't really know. Um, he's obviously a good player and stuff. He's not exactly super, super young. He's like 26, I want to say, 25 or something like that. Um, so it's not he's not super young, but he's a good player, to be fair. And he's English, so when he's English... When English players are just worth so much money anyway. I don't know how that's the case, but good um, negotiation skills from Southampton at 25 million for him. And um, he could be a good addition to Liverpool. Um, you know, you're going to see why that, you're going to see where that money's come from in a minute, probably. And the Herrera, the new £29 million Manchester United boy. Now, I don't know too much about this guy, Atletico Bilbao. Um, he looks like he's pretty, pretty good. I watched him the highlights, but highlights on YouTube always make people look good. He played against Man United in Europa, I think, a couple of years ago. And um, he, he did rip us, a, uh, rip us up a little bit, to be honest. But um, £29 million um, for a Spanish midfielder. And obviously, we've got Mata and stuff as well. We spent like £35 million on. So, these Spanish midfielders, they better start paying up nicely. And another big expensive... Um, 
Spanish midfielder. But this one we know a bit more about. Obviously, Cesc Fabregas was at Arsenal, then he went to Barcelona, and now he's back at Chelsea for £30 million. Apparently, Arsenal didn't want him. Apparently, his position's taken by Ertzel, and obviously, they probably knew um, other signings that were coming in and stuff, and Wenger was like, no. But he went to Chelsea, another London club. I don't think Arsenal fans are very happy with that at all, but he has gone for £30 million, which is, makes him one of the most expensive midfielders of the summer transfer so far. And Chelsea have been busy with another so say Spanish international, um, whatever you guys want to make of him really. £32 million for Diego Costa, had a good start of the season, I don't think the second half of this Atletico Madrid season was as good as his first, but still it warranted enough for him to um, win the league with Atletico Madrid and obviously get a big sign in to, uh, to Chelsea as well, so that's going to be pretty interesting to be honest, see how he performs in the Premier League next year. What's going to be even more interesting is the £75 million guy Suarez going to Barcelona. So, you know, Barcelona can, can afford to get rid of Sanchez and stuff when they knew they were signing Suarez. But there's a big debate about Barcelona shouldn't be allowed to even sign a player at the minute and he shouldn't be allowed to be transferred. Um, I don't know, it's fucking all politics to me and I'm not really that bothered in it. But it's good for football, it's good to see big money moves like that happen. Um, £75 million and it's good. I mean, it's, it's not it's not good for Liverpool, but it's good for other teams that he's not in the Premier League, like your Man City's United's and stuff, because he fucking causes problems. So, guys, what we're going to do, play a game with this team, the new transfer, uh, transfer team, sorry, £322 million worth of team, all there, 11 people. 11 people, £322 million worth. Fucking astonishing. It's, it's truly astonishing. All right, then, looks like we found another boy that wants... The old rich sausages. Um, well, Rakitic is Barcelona now. Um, wow. Okay, this is actually a pretty solid team. Oh, come on. Gotta finish that. Yes, Costa. Come on. Suarez. Suarez. Had to be Suarez. Sorry. Oh, this is going to cost me in a minute. Oh, no. 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 I thought it was offside. I know. Come on, mate. I need you to. Step up a little bit if you're going to fucking be on my side. Oh, what a bit of play. What a bit of play. Suarez? No, 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 sunshine. That is it. That is a double-headed goal, lads. You don't often see that. It goes the back post, headed across. You don't see it. Get in there. That's a wrap, mate. That's 2-0. That's... 2-1, Suarez, double goals, that's what we'll take. Anyway, lads, that is it. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like down below. Subscribe to you for videos. I'm out. It's been a pleasure as always. Peace.